Hi, I'm Ira Trivedi and welcome to another episode of Yoga Ira. On today's segment, we're going to be focusing on fasting because it's Navratri and many of you are probably on fast. What Navratri means in Sanskrit is the nine nights. And it's a beautiful time to turn inwards towards spiritual practices. Even from a solar point of view, it's when the lunar energies are aligned in a way that makes it very conducive to meditation, to pranayam, and also for yoga. Now, fasting can really make you tired, it can make you feel weak, but doing a few easy asanas can really help energize you, it can help calm your mind, it can also help control hunger pangs. So come, let's do a 10 minute yoga sequence that you can follow during these nine days of Navratri. We're gonna begin our sequence with a short meditation. Now there's a lot of confusion about what meditation is, how do we meditate, and there's all sorts of meditation techniques out there. There's walking meditation, there's sleeping meditation, there's even something called talking meditation. So I'm going to give you a really, really simple technique which has worked for so many of my students and it works for me, it's something that I practice every single day. Also remember that Navratri is a great time to start meditation if you don't already have a practice. It's during this time that there's a very calm spiritual energy in the atmosphere and these energies can help you turn inwards and focus your mind to a, in a, to a better way. So we're going to now begin with a very, very easy meditative technique. We're going to sit in a comfortable posture. Our spines should be as straight as possible. If you can't sit on the floor, you can do this on a chair or on a sofa. We place our hands in either chin mudra on our knees, or if you're more comfortable, you can even put your hands in your lap. Now we're just going to close our eyes and focus on breathing. So we're gonna focus on our breaths. So you inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. With each breath, just try to calm your mind. Don't try to stop the thoughts that are coming into your mind. Let them float by. So don't focus on getting rid of thoughts. Just focus on not getting involved in the thoughts. So as you're breathing, inhale and exhale. With each breath, you're getting more and more uninvolved from your thoughts. Don't try to stop anything that comes to your mind. Instead, like a movie or a film, just let your thoughts pass by your mind. If you find yourself getting distracted, you can turn to your breath, focusing on breathing in and breathing out. Like this, slowly go deeper and deeper into meditation and just for two to three minutes, try to still and calm your mind. The Shitali Pranayam is a wonderful pranayam that not only calms our mind, but it also regulates our hunger and thirst. So if you're fasting and you're getting lots of hunger pangs, you can actually do this pranayam at any point in the day and it helps you feel more satisfied and it kills that hunger drive. So I'm going to tell you how to do this pranayam and while I suggest that you do it as part of the sequence, Feel free to take this pranayam and do it at any point during the day. Sit in any comfortable meditation posture. Close the eyes and relax the whole body. Now extend the tongue outside the mouth 
as far as possible and roll the sides of the tongue to form a tube. Now practice a long, smooth inhalation through the rolled tongue. At the end of the inhalation, draw the tongue in, close the mouth and exhale through the nose. Inhale through the tongue and exhale through the nose. Continue doing this for up to two minutes. When you're fasting, you can often feel low on energy, a little lethargic, and also a little cranky. It becomes more important than ever before to do a little bit of yoga. So I'm gonna give you three very easy asanas now. These asanas will help your circulation, will help stretch out your body, they will help just make your body feel better, and also, of course, your mood. So we're gonna begin by doing the rock. It's a very simple, variation of an asana, uh, not a traditional yoga asana, but this, the rock, it just helps you move a little bit, it stretches out your spine, it stretches out your sides, it just creates a gentle rocking effect, which also then helps you feel calm and also happy. Lie down flat on your back and draw both knees towards your chest. Your knees should form a right angle to your body. Now place your palms on your knees to balance yourself and now gently rock from side to side, focusing on your breath as you do so. Inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. Now take the palms off your knees and go back to lying position. Now for the seated easy twist, which is a variation of Sukh Asana. This is a very beautiful asana which stretches your neck and your spine. It's very gentle and anyone can do it at any time. Sit in any comfortable seated posture. Inhale and bring your left hand to rest on your right thigh. Press your right fingertips behind your hips. Twist your body to the right. Now exhale, come back to center and twist to the other side. Bringing your right arm on your left thigh and your left fingertips to the back of your body. Exhale and come back to center. Inhale, twist to the right. Really feel a stretch in your neck and your back. Stay here and breathe. Inhale, twist to the left. And come back to center. The final asana is a seated palm press, which is a very gentle and easy asana but when done with breath, it can be really beneficial. It gives a lovely stretch to the cervical, to the back, and also just helps calm your mind and body. Sit in a comfortable seated posture. Now with an inhale, bring your arms up over your body, interlace your fingers, and twist your palms around. Relax your shoulders and look up towards your fingers. Stay here and breathe. Remember, this asan becomes doubly effective if you do it with your breath. With each breath, try to bring your arms a little bit straighter over your body. Really feel a stretch in your cervical spine and your torso. Now exhale, release the arms, the palms, and bring your arms to your side. The seated palm press is a beautiful calming asana it expands your chest, it's stretched to your neck, it works on your abs, and stimulates digestion, which can slow down during fasting. Today's yoga challenge is the 
एक पदा प्रणाम आसन और द ट्री पोज सो ट्वीट इन पिक्चर्स ऑफ यू डूइंग द आसन टू एट इंडिया टुडे और एट इरल त्रिवेदी आफ्टर द फास्ट दर्स ऑलवेज द फीस्ट विच मीन्स बिंज ईडिंग द नेक्स्ट सेगमेंट आई बी गिविंग यू इज फॉर बिंज ईडर्स समटाइम्स आफ्टर फास्टिंग फॉर अ डे और टू डेज यू कैन जस्ट गो क्रेजी एंड यू एंड अप ईडिंग अ लॉट so this segment is going to help you stop your binge eating and will help you get back in shape we start with the shitkari pranayam this pranayam is very effective in not just losing weight but also stop you from feeling hungry i've had students who've lost up to 5 to 7 kg by just doing this pranayam so you can do this part of the sequence or you can actually do this anytime anywhere i just suggest that you do it 2 hours before your meal time but other than that it's a very very effective pranayam to do at any point of the day sit in any comfortable meditation posture close the eyes and relax the whole body hold the teeth lightly together separate the lips exposing the teeth now inhale slowly and deeply through the teeth at the end of the inhalation close the mouth now exhale slowly through the nose in a controlled manner inhale and exhale inhale through your teeth exhale through the nose continue doing this for 2 minutes if you feel breathless or tired at any point you can do a few rounds of yogic breathing next up is a downward dog but we're going to add a couple of variations to make it a little bit more difficult for you this asana is so common because it has so many benefits not only is it an all over body stretch and workout it's also really really good for your digestion and that's why we're doing it right after you've had a big binge so let's do the downward dog together and again try do as much as you can don't ever push yourself too hard and always remember to breathe sit in vajrasan now come up on all fours lifting your hips up and pressing into your palms and your heels relax your shoulders head and neck stay here and really feel the stretch in your hamstrings and your thighs in your arms Really breathe in deeply in this asan. Now on an inhale, come up, lifting high on your toes, keeping your hips as straight as you can. Balance on your toes, on your palms. Now exhale and slowly come down. Now inhale and raise your right leg up. Stretch your leg out with your toes, toes pointed out. Stay here and breathe. Don't lose your balance. Balance on your arms, on your left leg. Slowly bring your leg back. Now inhale and bring your left leg up. Stretch the left leg with the toes. Exhale and come down. Don't do this asan if you have a severe back problem or cervical problem. Now for the Veer Bhadra Asan or the Warrior Pose. This is a strengthening asan, very good for your legs, good for your abdomen, good for your arms, an all-over body workout, and also really, really good for toning our abdomens. It also helps give you mental strength. It's called the Warrior after all. So it helps focus your mind and calm your mind at the same time, so you don't binge eat anymore. Stand up straight on your mat and now slowly spread your legs apart. Bend your right knee so that it's at a 90 degree angle. Now raise your arms shoulder height with your palms facing down and move your neck 
to look over your front hand. Make sure your left heel is on the ground and your torso is in alignment with your hips. Stay here and breathe. Virabhadra Asan or the warrior pose. Keeping your legs where they are, lean back towards your left leg and extend your right arm over your body. You can lean your left hand on your calf. Stay here and breathe, looking up towards your right arm. Inhale and exhale. Now slowly come back to Virabhadra Asan and come back to standing. Now we do the same on the other side. You bend your left knee so that it's at a 90 degree angle, your right foot so the toes are pointing slightly forward. We change now to the reverse warrior, leaning back towards your right leg, placing your right hand on your calf, extending your left arm over your body, looking up to your left fingers. Slowly come back to standing. Now for the Uttita Parshvakona Asan. Another beautiful all over workout, all over body stretch. It also helps focus our mind and balance our bodies. When we do this asana, we really have to focus on balancing ourselves. And this gets subconsciously manifested in our eating habits. So as we control our bodies, we also control our minds and we don't end up eating so much and don't end up binging. So let's do this asana together. And it's a very, very effective asana. I've seen tons of people do it, my students, and by doing it, they do get more control over their bodies and their minds. Come up in standing position and spread your legs apart. Bring your torso towards your front thigh and press your right forearm into your right thigh, really opening up your chest. Now extend your left arm up to your ear and look up towards your left palm. Stay here and breathe. Using your breath to steady yourself and to balance. For a further challenge, if you feel comfortable in the posture, you can bind your arms, so wrap your right arm over your upper thigh and bring your left arm around your back, hooking your arms together so that your palms form a lock. You can stay here and really feel the stretch in your torso, in your back, keeping your chin up, looking up towards the ceiling. Now unlock your arms and slowly come back to original. We can do the same on the other side. So bring your torso towards your front thigh and press your left arm into your left thigh, extending your right arm up next to your ear and looking up towards your right palm. Stay here and breathe. Now binding your arms together, creating a lock of your palms. Now come back. Our final asana is a Gurud asana or the eagle pose. It looks a little complicated and twisty, but it's actually really simple to do. What this asana does is that it helps build your mental focus and concentration. And by doing this, you end up controlling your eating habits. So let's all do this asana together and try not to binge anymore. Wrap your right leg around your left leg, hooking your right foot to either side of your left leg. Now we do this with our arms, wrapping our right arm under our left arm. We can slowly bend down a little bit, like we're sitting in a chair, lifting your arms up to maintain your balance. Stay here and balance. Fix your gaze upon a point. Now come back, unwrapping your legs, your arms. Come to standing and breathe. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Yoga Ira. Stay healthy, get fit, and be happy. Join the Yoga Lution. Yeah.